Another kicking situation that comes into play late in a ball game is the squib kick. The squib kick can be used in a variety of situations, but more often than not, it's used to make sure that the returner doesn't get a chance to return the ball upfield with the proper protection in front of him. In a squib kick, you want to disguise it so you use the same approach as you would on a full kickoff. For me, again, as I stated earlier, nine steps by five steps. The key on a squib kick is you want to keep it out of the way of the front line of players. You're going to have either five or six guys on the front line on the opposing kick return team. You don't want to hit them because they may recover and have great field position. Once you get it through that front line, you just want to make sure that the ball bounces in an odd way down the field and creates a cluster down there as they try and pick it up. Again, check with your teammates, both sides, let the ref know you're ready, and come on your approach.